After grueling research, the final conclusion was reached in Bukai's words. This would have brought on death very quickly, and the body had been submerged before or after the pharaoh was killed. Whatever the case, he does not appear to have stayed in the water for long. I have searched for a contradiction of any kind between our medical observations and the narrations of the Exodus contained in the book of Exodus in the Bible and the Quran. But I can find no argument to oppose the theory I hereby maintain. Given the present state of our knowledge, the only valid hypothesis that can be advanced is that Miran Ptah, Ramses II's successor, met a tragic end during the Exodus. This has been formally proved by medical examination and fits perfectly with the passage in the Quran on the rapid retrieval of the body. Rather today, we shall deliver you, preserving you in your body only, so that you will become a sign for those who come after you, that God is exalted in his power, for indeed, many of the people are heedless of our signs. Here is a material presence of the mummified body of the man who knew Moses, resisted his pleas, pursued him as he took flight, and lost his life in the process. His earthly remains were saved by the will of God from destruction to become a sign to posterity, as it is written in the Quran. Bukai wraps up his argument with a piece of advice for those who seek, in modern data, a proof of the veracity of the Holy Scriptures. He asserts, they will find a magnificent illustration of the verses of the Quran when they see the retrieved body of the Exodus Pharaoh by simply visiting the royal mummies room in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo.